In mathematical finite group theory, an n group is a group all of whose local subgroups, that is, the normalizers of non-trivial p subgroups, are solvable groups. The non-solvable ones were classified by Thomson during his work on finding all the minimal finite simple groups. Topic: Simple n groups. The simple n groups were classified by John Thomson, 1968, 1970, 1971, 1973, 1974, 1974 b in a series of six papers totaling about 400 pages. The simple n groups consist of the special linear groups PSL2, Q, PSL3, 3, the Suzuki groups SZ, 22n plus 1, the unitary group U3, 3, the alternating group A7, the Mathieu group M11, and the Tits group. The Tits group was overlooked in Thomson's original announcement in 1968, but Hearn pointed out that it was also a simple n group. More generally, Thomson showed that any non-solvable n group is a subgroup of AUT. G containing G for some simple n group G Gorenstein and Lyons 1976 generalized Thomson's theorem to the case of groups where all two local subgroups are solvable the only extra simple groups that appear are the unitary groups U3 Q topic <laughs> proof Gorenstein 1980, gives a summary of Thomson's classification of n groups. The primes dividing the order of the group are divided into four classes π1, π2, π3, π4 as follows π1 is the set of primes p such that a silo p subgroup is nontrivial and cyclic. π2 is the set of primes p such that a silo p subgroup p is non-cyclic but SCN3 p is empty π3 is the set of primes p such that a silo p subgroup p has SCN3 p non-empty and normalizes a non-trivial abelian subgroup of order prime to p. π4 is the set of primes p such that a silo p subgroup p has SCN3 p non-empty but does not normalize a non-trivial abelian subgroup of order prime to p. The proof is subdivided into several cases depending on which of these four classes the prime 2 belongs to, and also on an integer e, which is the largest integer for which there is an elementary abelian subgroup of rank e normalized by a non-trivial 2 subgroup intersecting it trivially. Thompson 1968 gives a general introduction, stating the main theorem and proving many preliminary lemmas. Thompson 1970 characterizes the groups E2 3 and S4 3 in Thompson's notation, these are the exceptional group G2 3 and the symplectic group SP4 3 which are not n groups but whose characterizations are needed in the proof of the main theorem. Thompson 1971 covers the case where 2π4. Theorem 11.2 shows that if 2 element of π2 then the group is PSL2 Q, M11, A7, U3 3, or PSL3 3. The possibility that 2 element of π3 is ruled out by showing that any such group must be a C group and using Suzuki's classification of C groups to check that none of the groups found by Suzuki satisfy this condition. Thompson 1973 and Thompson 1974 cover the cases when two element of π4 and E3, or E equals 2. He shows that either G is a C group so a Suzuki group, or satisfies his characterization of the groups E2 3 and S4 3 in his second paper, which are not N groups. Thompson 1974 covers the case when two element of π4 and E equals 1, where the only possibilities are that G is a C group or the Tits group. Consequences A minimal simple group is a non-cyclic simple group all of whose proper subgroups are solvable. The complete list of minimal finite simple groups is given as follows Thompson 1968, Corollary 1 PSL2 2P, P a prime PSL2 3P, P an odd prime PSL2 P, P greater than 3 a prime congruent to 2 or 3 mod 5 SZ 2P, P an odd prime
PSL3 in other words a non-cyclic finite simple group must have a subquotient isomorphic to one of these groups. <laughs>